So here's the new uniform for the London Fire Brigade. It's designed to help firefighters like Hayley deal with whatever fresh challenges are thrown her way. This colour is just going to sharp the dirt more, more damage, um, carcinogenics from fires. It will stop us thinking we can get away with just keeping our old kit on because you can't see the damage to it. We've got a light on our helmet now, so it frees our, our hands up to do... Um, to be a lot more practical. We've still got two pairs of fire gloves that are fire resistant. We go to a lot of special services, uh, car accidents, um, shutting lifts, assisting the police and the ambulance. So these gloves are a lot more flexible um, and easier to use some of our equipment with. The latest breathing apparatus enables men to remain at work in poisonous atmospheres for an hour. The fire service has moved on when it comes to their uniform and also who's allowed to wear it. But cancer-causing debris, car crashes and burning high-rise buildings would have been another world to London's fire crews of the 1930s. Their protection may seem flimsy, but it's only 30 years since, if you were a firefighter, you'd be sent towards the flames kitted out in wool and rubber. You only knew it was time to get out when your ears felt too hot. When I joined in 1987, this was the kit I was issued with. And uh, at the time I knew no different. I certainly wouldn't send my firefighters into any fires in this now. They're really quite impractical for fighting fires. They soak up water. These gloves are pretty much the same as you buy in any garden centre. They just melted. Yellow plastic leggings, any significant fire, and they would get very, very hot and very soft and almost start melting, really. It was the King's Cross fire which led to a total rethink. These are fire coats rather than a typical tunic type material. They didn't soak up the water in the way that the woolen ones did. You, there's no chrome buttons that look lovely but are totally impractical. We asked members of Blue Watch at Shoreditch for their verdict. This one only protects your eyes whereas on the, the current new one it, it has a full face protection as well. You rely on equipment a lot more with this gear because you can't feel necessarily the heat or what direction the fire's in. I had a lot more sense of their surroundings in this, this yeah. equipment. They, they, they weren't as covered as... And didn't have flash heads. Didn't have flash heads that told them where the heat was on their yeah. head and their ears. Today's uniform is the result of several brigades pooling their resources. They say sharing ideas will save them money and save lives. Emma North, BBC London News.